Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to hike to what was once known as North Mount Baldy today. It's basically Throop Peak and Mount Burnham. And then we're going to come up here to Mount Baden-Powell, which you might have recognized by the very beginning of the video. It's only a short ways away from uh, those other two peaks, which are over here. And visit Baden-Powell and then head back. It's a really beautiful hike. We're going to go along the PCT. The views are jaw-dropping the entire way and it's a great hike if you've done the other popular hikes. If you want to do something a little bit different, this is not a crowded hike. This is sort of an off-the-beaten-path type hike. Now I have all the details on doing this hike on hikingguy.com so make sure you visit the website and if you're on YouTube there's a link to that right underneath the video so check that out before you go. And as always, if you like the video, if you find it helpful or enjoyable, if you could do me a favor and just click a little thumbs up, it helps me out quite a bit. So thank you for that. And it's an easy way to say thank you. All right, guys, let me show you uh, what this beautiful hike is all about. All right, so the parking area is just down the road a little bit, and there's actually two trailheads. I'll talk about that in the guide, but this is the easier one or closest one to the top of the trail or the parking and we're just going to climb up from Angeles Crest Highway. Now, the beginning few uh, minutes of the hike are pretty steep. You can see there's little switchbacks that go up here. And we'll be climbing up over the road here. And you'll see the road down in the distance. You're also going to get some nice views of uh, Waterman and Twin Peaks over there. Another great uh, hike if you care to do it. Anyway, we're going to keep on going up. And there's a junction here. This is where the other side of the trail from the parking lot comes in. We're going to make the hard right here to continue up towards uh, through Peak. Now, if you parked on the southern end of the parking lot, you can park down there. But otherwise, this is how we're going to come. I love this old downed pine tree here. Really incredible. You really feel like you are at altitude here because you actually are. Um, Dawson Saddle is the highest point at Angeles Crest Highway. So you're pretty high up. Now we're going to come around a bend. You're going to see uh, Troop Peak ahead of you right there. And from here, we're going to go up along the ridge line. And it's uh, pretty gradual. It's not too bad. And it's very beautiful. There's lots of granite. There's also all kinds of little camping spots where people maybe just drove up to spend the night or whatever. And it's really a nice place. Here you can see one of those little camping spots. And we'll get some views down to Mount Wilson. If you look back, you'll be able to see Strawberry Peak. It's that little pointy one there in the distance. Really great, great views um, towards Mount Wilson and the western part of Angeles National Forest from here. Now, when we come up here, you're going to see over to the left, you're going to be able to see where we're going. And that's uh, Mount Burnham and then Baden-Powell over there in the distance. And then right up there is Troop Peak where we're going next. We're just going to continue on up the trail. Very easy to follow, but there are some little campsites on the right. It can get confusing. And kind of towards the end of the campsites, which is right here, we're going to look for a side trail off to the right. And there's a bunch of different little trails, but if you go kind of off to the right, you can see some of the camping areas down there. Obviously beautiful views. Again, a nice easy hike, probably about a mile and a half right from the road if you want to come here and camp. But if you go off to the right there, ahead of you, you're going to see a trail going up to Throop Peak. The main trail goes down to the left. We're going to go up here towards the peak. Now, this is a steep trail, and after a little bit, you can definitely see where it is. You can get an idea of where the trail is. It's not a scramble over loose ground or anything. This is about as bad as it gets. But what you can do is, if you get tired, you can just turn around and take a look into the Mojave. And the distance there is Telescope Peak, which is the highest point in uh, Death Valley National Park. So uh, really great views all around on this hike. Eventually, you're going to get towards the summit area up here, towards the summit of Troop Peak. I'm just going to wind around a little bit through the Manzita. And eventually, we're going to come up to the summit itself, which is right here. Now, there's a historic marker. This was actually uh, named after the, I think it's called the Troop uh, Polytechnic Institute and the guy who founded it right there. There's a summit register. There's some little benches and stuff that people have made. And obviously great views. You can see Saddleback Mountain, Mount Wilson over there, and Mount Baldy off to the left uh, as we continue on. Somebody built a little shelter over here. Maybe they bivvied overnight. I don't know. 
but otherwise we're just going to keep going straight over the summit right here and head back down the other side to join the main trail now as you go down it can be a little confusing because there's some camping areas up here you're going to kind of cheat it over to the left a little bit the trail kind of winds to the left and rejoins the uh the main dawson saddle trail a little bit and you can see once you get going it's very easy to follow here it's definitely well defined when we get to the bottom you're going to come out to the pct this is a pacific crest trail and as they say to the right canada to the left mexico we'll head towards mexico and once you get past that junction there, there's another bigger junction with a big PCT sign, which is right here, that gives you some of the distances to nearby landmarks. We're going to head to Baden-Powell, which is two and a half miles. Now, when you come back, you can skip through Peak and you can skip Burnham as well and just follow the trail on down. It's a little bit easier if you don't want to bag those summits again. But for us, we're going to keep on going now on the PCT and keep going straight and eventually we're going to come out on the ridge you can see burnham and baden powell ahead of us off to the right there is mount baldy the real mount baldy not north mount baldy like this one used to be called and the trail sort of winds down you're going to follow the ridge along here and this is really beautiful you're going to get incredible views um, on both sides the north and south side of angeles national forest here as we continue on now here the PCT goes down to the left. We're going to take the small trail up to um, the summit of Mount Burnham just to bag it because why not? It is steep. It's not too long. It's not as long as Troop Peak, but you can see uh, it's get an idea from the shot how steep it is. But again, it's it's not too long as we go up and it's a little bit rocky in the beginning, but eventually it becomes well defined like this. And it's sort of on the I guess you'd say on the left side of the ridge, but when we get to the top, we're going to kind of go over to the right side of the ridge, and there's a little summit area over here. There is a uh, there's a sign on the day that I did it here, and some awesome awesome views. So next and last stop will be Baden Powell, which is the next guy, and just like on Troop Peak, we're going to go straight through here and head back down the ridge. Here's the little trail going down the other side of Burnham and we're going to rejoin the PCT in a minute or two as we get down here and here we are back on the PCT and you can see there's more great views there's Saddleback Mountain in Orange County down there but we're going to continue to follow uh, the ridge over towards Baden-Powell and there's a couple points where there's going to be little switchbacks. We're going to cut back and forth. It's not a really tough climb. It's kind of gradual uh, until we get to the use trails, but it is a climb. So and you are pretty far up. We're going to come around to the north side. Again, you're going to get great views into the Mojave. You can see uh, Red Mountain, which is kind of prominent up towards Telescope Peak. Lots of great peak spotting, peak peaking, maybe you want to call it. But anyway, continue here on the PCT. We're going to go through a section of uh, these pines. And there are limber pines up uh, by Baden Powell, some of the oldest trees on Earth. You definitely feel like you are pretty high up at this point. And we're going to continue along the rim. You can see there is the summit. That's where we're going. We're almost there. And if we stay on the PCT, it actually doesn't take you to the summit. So we're going to take a little cutoff trail, just like we did for the other peaks. And here it is. You just have to keep your eyes open. But it's definitely visible and here it is we're going to go up along this trail a little shortcut up to the summit here and again just like the other ones it's steeper than the pct but not too long and it's pretty easy to follow you can see the trail is well defined this hike from dawson saddle is uh to baden baden powell is, is a pretty popular hike i guess and here we are up at the summit this is the monument to uh, baden powell who was the founder of the boy scouts you can check that out for some reason i lucked out here today and there was absolutely no one up here i don't think i've ever been up here when there's no one up here maybe once or twice but you continue forward and then here is the flag views of mount baldy and all the surrounding peaks and then when you're done here you're just going to turn around and we're going to head back the way you came 
And again, you don't have to bag the summits. You can just stay on the PCT and then on the Dawson Saddle Trail and head back down without doing the little steep sections. But that's the hike and hangout. I'll show you what it looks like on a 3D map. All right, so here's the overview. And we're basically climbing up from the Angeles Crest uh, Highway right here to Troop Peak and then following the ridge all the way along what was once known as North Baldy Mountain. Um, these all changed, I think, in the... 50s maybe. Uh, I'll talk about a little bit of the history of the naming here, but on the old topographic maps, uh, this whole ridge is named North Baldy. And there was actually a car race uh, before the Angeles Crest Highway was here from I think 1906 to 1911, uh, called the colloquially, I think it was called the Century, Century Race, but they used to call it the um, North Baldy Race that went from LA up, I think, one of these canyons here. <laughs> Uh, to the Bighorn Mine, but it was called the North Baldy Race. This was North Baldy. Let's go down to the parking area. I mentioned it's a little bit tricky. This is the main parking area right here, and the easiest way, for me at least, is just to hop on the trail there. You can also see the trail winding down here, so if you go to the south area, you can hop on the trail and climb up there. It doesn't really matter. Um, they'll all get you to the same place. Now, once we climb up here, we come around this corner right here, and this is where you get the nice views of True Peak right up there. And if you look this way, you can see the other peaks off to the left. And then off to the right, I had mentioned, you can see Waterman and um, Twin Peaks and Wilson. They're all over in this area right over there. But anyway, we're going to come over, and then this is where the trail splits off to go up Troop Peak. And if I wind the view around right here, this is where the uh, regular trail goes right over here. So when you come back, you can just skip this up and down if you like and kind of breeze through this part. But anyway, we're going to go up to the peak. And then once we're at the peak, we're following the ridge along. Here we can see we're going to follow this. There's going to be a little bit of a downhill here. We're going to go along the ridge. Again, for the um, way back, you can skip Burnham and just you can kind of see the trail right in there. You can skip Burnham, but when we're going, we're going to go up Burnham and over, follow the ridge along until we get um, to this point where we're going to do the cutoff up to Baden Powell. Here's Mount Baldy in the distance. The views from up here are spectacular. And also, you notice that there's some snow on these satellite photos. This is actually the north, um, or actually the east facing slope, I guess, north northeast. Um, but anyway, in the winter, this is not a real doable hike, especially if you don't have experience. The road is generally closed up here when the conditions are really bad. So check out the road conditions before you go. I put a link to that in the guide and hiking guy, along with all the other info you need. But that is the hike. I hope you enjoy it. You can see here the way back. Uh, we just go right back along the ridge there and then back down to the parking. Um, this is Mount Lewis, too. One of the interesting things uh, you'll notice when you climb up here is that there is fire damage on this side of Mount Lewis. This is sort of the eastern edge of the Bobcat Fire of 2020 that kind of made like a huge cut through the middle of Angeles National Forest, but it ended right here um, along Mount Lewis, and that's the fire damage. And of course, being Southern California, there's also fire damage in here that you'll see. I'll talk about that uh, in the guide. But anyway, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It's a fun hike. Give it a try, and I will see you out there.